UPnP RADIUS support provides centralized authentication for fixed access networks. Additionally, certain configuration parameters called vendor-specific attributes can be passed from the RADIUS server to EPMP devices for configuration or user authorization. This video provides high-level explanations of VSA configuration, message flow, and application examples. To begin using VSAs in your network, verify first that the EPMP access point is configured with the wireless security mode of RADIUS and that the subscriber is configured with the proper RADIUS credentials. Now, append the EPMP dictionary file to the RADIUS server's dictionary file to define the EPMP attributes. Now that the RADIUS server is configured with the Cambium VSAs in the RADIUS dictionary file, the VSAs may be applied to subscribers in the RADIUS users file. On the RADIUS server, open the users file for editing. For each subscriber, include the VSAs required for configuration. For example, to configure any subscriber with EAP TTLS username subscriber1 with a data VLAN ID and VLAN membership set via VSAs, include the following entry in the RADIUS users file. With this entry, Entry, Cambium EPMP VLI GVID configures the data VLAN ID, and Cambium EPMP VLAN MEM set is configured to decimal value 1677516. In this case, the first two bytes represent the beginning of the range, and the last two bytes represent the end of the range. In addition, the user login installer will be authenticated via RADIUS. Save the RADIUS users file and restart the RADIUS server process. Upon network entry, all EPMP devices with EAP TTLS username subscriber1 and EAP TTLS password Cambium will be configured with the VSA parameters in the RADIUS users file. For our example, the EPMP subscriber GUI network monitoring page reports the following. During the EAP TTLS RADIUS authentication procedure, the RADIUS server sends the configured VSAs consisting of VLAN, maximum information rate, subscriber module priority, and user login attributes to the AP. The AP then parses the VSAs and configures any AP-specific parameters received from the RADIUS server. Finally, the VSAs are sent to the subscribers to be parsed and configured. If any errors are encountered during the VSA messaging, the access point or subscriber will default to locally configured parameter values. Access point and subscriber module web management interface logins may be centralized in the RADIUS server to simplify management of device login credentials and access permissions. Customization of how GUI user authentication is handled is controlled by the AP security configuration parameter GUI user authentication. When GUI user authentication is set to remote RADIUS server only, or remote RADIUS server and fallback to local, RADIUS server access and authentication is established for each GUI login attempt from the EPMP device. Each EPMP VSA corresponds to a specific configuration parameter on the EPMP subscriber. EPMP subscribers support various network mode settings, bridge, NAT, and router, and these configurations can also be customized by assigning a separate management IP address or a separate management VLAN configuration. This section gives examples of VSA applications in various subscriber networking configurations. This example demonstrates how a bridge mode subscriber receives configuration via RADIUS VSAs for maximum information rate and various VLAN parameters. This example demonstrates how a NAT mode or router mode subscriber receives configuration via RADIUS VSAs for maximum information rate and various VLAN parameters. For more details on the VSAs supported by EPMP, see the Cambium Network's community forum.